Hello everybody, this is Mike McDonald. Today we're going to be talking about how to modify gravity forms if you're not receiving your email notifications. Uh, there seems to have been some problems with that and the basic problem for the majority so far has been the use of either a Juno or a Comcast email address. So I'd recommend if you have one of those to change it. And I'm going to show you how to do all that and, you know, just to basically test the system and make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to be. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here to Forms and then click on Forms. And what this will do, it'll pull up your forms that you have available. We're going to click on Contact Form. And then from there we'll just simply click on notifications and this is where you'll set up everything for the notifications to yourself as well as to the user or whoever submitted the question. First thing you want to check is the enable email notification to administrators. This will allow the form to send an email to yourself that you've got a new lead. Uh, next thing we're going to check is send to email. Click that and you know, make sure that's checked with your email address. Now, if you have a Comcast or a Juno email address, it's probably not going to work. For some reason, that f those addresses aren't compatible with these forms, and people that are having uh, other people sign up for samples, but they're not getting notified. So you definitely want to have your own domain name notification um, <clears throat> email, and it just looks a lot more professional you know, than having, say, a Yahoo or a Gmail. But if you don't have your own email through your domain name, then use a Yahoo or Gmail rather than the Comcast or Juno. Um, that way, it'll just make sure that you'll get the notification and you'll be able to, you know, quickly get somebody their samples. Um, from name, you can put whatever you want here. You know, if it's a Shakeology sample page, you can put Shakeology lead. Um, if it's from, say, you have a coach page, uh, form and you won't get prospects you can have it as a prospect lead you know however you want to do it doesn't really matter uh, the from email is from yourself obviously and reply to will be to yourself um, those are pretty much irrelevant unless you're answering yourself but I just keep them there for the heck of it um, then you got your subject which Shakeology lead from and then this merge field will put in the first and last name of the lead along with the message and then we scroll down here to notification to user. If you enable the uh, email notification to users, this will send your user an email, you know, just confirming that their message has been sent and received and you know about it. And yeah, you, know, you can basically ask them a question or thank them, whatever you want to do. Um, it's going to come from your business name, your email name, obviously. Uh, subject, you know, you put Shakeology sample request or whatever you want to put. I just like to let them know what the email is regarding so they don't just scan through it and trash it or spam it. You know, so then you go down to the form itself, and I'm just making this one simple just to show you guys. But you do hello, and you got your uh, merge field. <clears throat> yeah, it's a merge tag, which you can get more of here. You know, this will tell you which one to put in and you just put your cursor where you want it and click it and it'll you know add in whatever uh, let's just say that so there's your merge field I'm not going to use that but that's just to show you how to do it um, thank you for contacting me about your free Shakeology sample doesn't have to say that. It can say whatever you want it to say. You know, I've got a little more intricate one that I use, you know, with my contact information and, you know, things like that. Um, you can put in recipes, you know, put in, hey, my favorite recipe is this, um, whatever you want to do, you know, just to make it more personal. And, you know, that's pretty much about it. When you're all done, you come down here, you click save settings, and your form is all set and you should be getting your email notifications the way you're supposed to. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and take care. I'll talk to you soon.